hey there guys, what's going on? Kason41 here. Still playing RimWorld like crazy. Oh no, there's stuff going on on my phone. I'll get back to everybody else in a minute. Alright. Sorry, my uh, throat's getting a little hoarse. I didn't think talking all day was going to do this to me, but I've been doing this for quite a few straight hours now. Um, I actually have the alt-tab out for one second, so I don't know what that's going to... Oh god! I don't know what that's going to do to the video, but um, it's kind of mandatory that I alt tab out here. Oh, okay. Oh, my arms. Right? Right, guys? Oh. Whew. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, so we got uh, cotton growing here. Let that go. Got corn growing out back. Yeah, stuff just needs to be hauled, basically. Things just need to be shuffled and moved right now and cleaned and... Who is idle? You have things to be crafting, don't you? Yes, you do. You should never be idle, you dum-dum. Warren. I think you can be idle. I don't really know. You should all be doing things, that's what matters. We're doing good. All right, so we'll add we'll add a bill. We'll tell them the brew beer. Do it forever. And 25 small ingredient volumes like gold require 20 times as much. Okay, interesting. So work about 17. We're a batch of beer of hops. Okay, cool. So if we can start brewing beer. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. If we can start brewing beer, that'll be good. Simply because. Uh, the local tortoise. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> so we'll make sure we can haul that deer and tortoise once it gets shot to death. What? Okay, good. I was like, please tell me you were kidding. But we're still in an eclipse too, I think. I think it just passed, so... At least we're not dealing with that. Chop ourselves up the deer here. We have a lot of meals. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, though. The more meals we have, the better off we are. Um, these hops are grown now. The strawberries are getting pretty close. These rice plants kind of grow pretty fast. Oh, mad animal. What is it? Deer. Whoa. How many? All of them. All right. Okay, uh, we're going to have some problems. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna need like a firing line. Or else they're gonna overrun. I don't know why all of the deer, not all of the deer, just some of them, I guess gone mad. But hey, they did, so uh, all of them are dead though, so we'll undraft everyone. And uh, yeah, it's, that's done. But hopefully we can recover all these corpses and, uh, you know, life will be good again. Grab these knives and stuff like that. They aren't messed up too bad, they're just probably injured. Oop. But uh, we got ourselves a little bit of beer now. Which is good. It's actually worth a good bit. 
Um, I think I'll probably forbid it, just so my people don't touch it. Just because it sells for a good bit, and that's kind of what I'm going for with this. It's like a cash crop. Whoop! Fire! 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 Damn it. Aaron, fight the fire. Warren, fight the fire. I'll just say equip wood. It does say equip wood. That's weird. Fight the fire. Fight the fire. There you go. Somebody will repair that, which is good. And then uh, I guess we're going to start hauling fabric and stuff. Rice. Little bits of rice, which isn't too bad. But it grows very fast. It's a 170% increased growth rate, so that's good. It's 127, so not bad, not bad. However, guys, brew up some more beer, I guess. Put it with the other forbidden beers. <laughs> I just don't want them to drink my very expensive beer because it is literally worth nine dollars and it's in perfect condition because it's all made inside. It's all kept out of the rain, so. I think we'll flick that off, just because uh, we don't use it that often. It does take up 250, even though that takes up 700. I think we'll flick that too. Just keep them both off, save ourselves that energy at night. Even though, like, energy is not a finite resource. Um, yeah. As long as we, like, are able to keep hauling stuff, you know. That also shuts off a lot of the jobs they were doing, so... Um, as long as we can keep hauling stuff and keep butchering. I feel like a lot of this cloth has to go somewhere, though. But I am enjoying brewing this beer. It's, um, giving me a lot of pleasure. <laughs> I don't understand why, but it is really nice to know that, like, I have a good chunk of money sitting right there. So if I ever actually, like, truly need anything, I can just get it. We also have a good amount of deer that we're butchering here, because that happened. I do need steel pretty bad. But yeah, we're definitely we're definitely picking up, we're definitely doing stuff in a day. Just how much stuff is up for debate. I feel like we could um, also redo the floor in here with uh, what? What is that? Marble? We can redo marble floor? Marble tile? Can use a stack of marble for this. And then some actually. Just so we have that little path. at least increase our guys efficiency a bit probably not buy a whole crap ton but hey I mean whatever we can get they also seem to be taking like the shortest route so we'll do that as well and then if we're gonna do that we might as well do that But I guess that was kind of the job for the day, was for them to make this tile. And that'll just help them walk faster rather than like the 86% or whatever they do whenever they walk around over there. This is also lit to 60%, and uh, this stuff only needs like 50% to grow. So I could probably plant stuff here and take advantage of 24-7 growing. Which is probably a good idea, actually. So I'm probably gonna do. I think it was like all the way out to there. Um, uh, I 
Now nah, we'll do hot plants. I think. We'll just have tons of hops. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because we're definitely getting enough of the other stuff. So. Growing more hops isn't a bad idea. Oh, visitors. Don't care. Yeah, we get the cloth and everything like that and get it moving. Yeah, we're just doing a lot of cooking. Which necessarily isn't a bad thing. And we have a lot of potatoes in stock. We have a lot of we have a lot of everything right now. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. Honestly, if you ask me. But uh Got a nice little storeroom here full of stuff, and some uranium. If I can manage to get another person, I'm just gonna shove them in that cryopod. Just as like a last resort kind of thing, you know? Uh, bulk goods traders here. Perfect, actually. So you wake up and you go trade with him. Beer! We'll sell lots of beer. Um, cloth, granite blocks, blah 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 blah. Simple meals. We'll sell. Um, 46. Keep ourselves 50. Um, well, everything else can be fine. So that's gonna give us 292. This sells for like a dollar something, so give me like 250. Should be close -ish. 28. We give him 28, so give me like 20 to 10 to 10 sure and give me some steel and some money go and there we go now we got some steel and some money which uh probably gonna use the steel to build the turrets at least one of them but hopefully we'll be able to take these hops that we have going and uh make a whole bunch of beer with it Honestly, I, I feel like I'm going to make more money off of the beer than I will the Devil Strand, so... At least for now. Beavers. Again? Okay, so they're up top. They need killed. Now. So we're going to go do that today. Kill all the beavers. Kill all the beavers. Kill all the beavers. There we go. Okay, so you can kind of just hang out here in melee. And all these beaver corpses are totally free to take. Yeah, you just hang out here and be kind of messed up in the head and stab stuff. Okay. But we need to haul these beavers. I don't know where that's from, so I'm not going to answer that. Um, one thing I think I am going to do is set up. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure they'll go and haul that all tomorrow. Actually, I think I'm just going to do like a stockpile. Um, I don't know where, actually. I could just do it in, like, here. Yeah. And this will just be, like, a corpse stockpile. And, uh, it's not gonna store just any kind of corpse, just, you know, animal corpses. And that'll be just so we can move them there for our butcher. 
We're gonna make more beer, I guess. But yeah, he's gonna go haul the alpha beavers. I guess a couple people are gonna go do that, which is good, because the alpha beaver meat is gonna be really nice for us. Yeah, that's why I made that little pile right there, because now he's just going to go out there and grab them and uh, keep doing that. Okay, there's Trevali. You're going to go brew beer. Actually, you're going to go call the combat supplier. Um, okay. So we have Molotov cocktails. We're not going to use more Molotov cocktails. We have some pistols that we're going to keep. Ply steel knife can go away. Shiv. Actually, we're going to hold on to the Ply steel knife for like three seconds. And uh, I know I want all that, and I know I don't really want anything from you. Yeah, I don't want anything from them. So, give me my 39 silver. And uh, we're going to see what she has equipped, Warren. She has a uranium shiv that does... Whoop. Does not tell me. Oh, character health no stats, stats. Um, and doesn't I don't, I don't care. I'm just gonna sell the shiv, I guess as well. Shiv. And get like a whole bunch of silver for that. And we'll brew ourselves some beer here, and we'll tell our people, you know, can't drink the beer. That's money. I think we still have like one more alpha beaver out here. Yeah. Two more alpha beavers, which isn't bad. If we get most of the meat out of them, I'm happy. Got a little bit there. Got three more there. Got a good pistol in there. You have a good pistol. Shotgun. Our corn's almost ready to harvest. So keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, it looks like I was right. Everything's going to kind of grow at a pretty good rate. Because these lights are going to keep everything pretty illuminated. And then we'll harvest all these potatoes. And we'll just have potatoes for like days. Should be really nice. But I wouldn't mind just some more steel, but Beggars can't be choosers again. Ugh. Should have tons and tons and tons and tons of meals. Which is amazing. Now she's been making pants and shirts for a while, I think. What is that shirt? Okay. So these pants that she's making are actually worth a good bit, like 103. So it's very, very good that I'm actually letting her do that. And she's actually being useful. Okay, so we're going to haul this slag too. Any other slag that I missed? No. Okay. I'm fine with that. This person is definitely dead. That's a deer. Whoops. 16's worth of hops. These are berries. Which would be nice. Visitors. Not my problem. Butcher ourselves up. Um. Some alpha beaver. <laughs> I still can't believe that's a thing. Um. There we go. They're from small town at the cliff, so I don't really want to mess with them. They've been good to me so far, so. Um, I'm actually not sure how happy they are with me. They don't like me.
okay. So yeah, I mean, they're close to liking me. I can probably give them some gifts of silver and they'll like me. And what, where's the, the t-shirt you're making? What did you do with that? I'm curious. Or did she just like switch it? She does. She switched it. Okay. Which isn't bad. I mean, as long as they're actually, you know, making stuff, I'm happy. I mean, let's see how much that's worth. 123, which is amazing. Okay, so this is iguana meat. I'm fine with that. We'll haul these chunks off as well. But iguana meat will be helpful. And it's pretty far away from us. They Nothing insane, but it's definitely a distance. Yes, yeah, so now we have that corn harvest coming in. And uh, we're kind of at that point again where we have too much food. And we seem to be doing a pretty good job of reducing it, so... Yeah, I think we can handle it. And if we can't, I'm sure a bulk of trader will come along. And uh, we can sell it. And if worse comes to worse, we'll just evict all the clothes and, uh, you know, set up a nice little thing. Thing. Oh my god. A. Ah, uh, come on. Words. Like a little temporary storage area, I think, is going to be the best idea. Huh. Ah, okay. Let's see all this going. But yeah, if we can just sell a lot of food for, um... For money, that'd be good. Hmm might do with expanding my freezer again. Exotic goods trader. I mean, he's not too helpful here. This guy's just gonna keep... Okay, no you're not. Go talk to the exotic goods trader. Let's see if he has... Oh wait, no, he'll buy my clothes. It's perfect, actually. Um, so you can have that, and that, and this, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and one of these. Wait, what? Why is it selling for so little? Your social's very high. Whatever, I guess. I don't really want to deal with holding on to this stuff, and it'll also clear out my my shack for stuff, so. Smart. Bionic leg. <laughs> Telescope, sculpture, silver. So he's gonna give me 176 silver just for this crud. Which isn't bad. I'll take it. Um, we'll also convert this into a food pile if I have to just in case I will toggle it because we are storing stuff in there now so we'll freeze the corn wow why are you so high what oh, why are you so high why so low there you go, we'll take it down to 30. We'll freeze it. It's because we are kind of running out of space there, so. We have visitors. Yeah, 
walling that all in wouldn't be the worst decision of my life, but it also probably wouldn't be the best. Meh. We'll get around to that in a minute or two if I decide it's necessary. So our hops are pretty much close to done again, which is good. Actually, the beer is supposed to be forbidden there, man. So stop drinking it. Wait, what? Alcohol tipsy. Huh. Does he have some kind of problem? Chemical interest. Yeah. Okay. So he's just going to keep drinking our beers. He's broken. He's going to go on a binge. Um, what we're going to have to do is... Much as I hate to do it, we're gonna arrest him. Stop him. I mean, I'm gonna have to try to recruit him again, which is a really big pain in the butt, but. I suppose that actually wasn't the best idea. There were way better things I could have done in that situation. I think I could have just let him have his binge. But, hey, I mean. And uh, he wasn't our warden, so at least that's good. But yeah, we need to get him recruited as fast as possible again. I shouldn't have done that. It was the only way I could think to stop him, though. Uh, our stirring is protecting a power stronger the entire region. Never forget that. It seems like the management for a few days. Some people's mood would be quite a bit worse. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's okay. We can't recruit him, so he's gonna fight it, I guess. What we could actually do is uh, forbid beer there and only allow beer there. So at least if he goes on a binge again, he's gonna have to go a distance to get it. I think is the, is the general plan there. I mean, we'll see. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth that much of a trouble. I mean, he's, he only drank a couple, so... And Warren's gonna have one. Does he have a chemical interest? No, he doesn't. Yeah, it just seems like everybody, you know, has beers every now and then, so... I guess what's the worst that happens, you know? We'll call the pirate merchant, see uh, if he has anything. Oh, we can sell him beer. We'll sell him a ton of beer. Okay, he has people that we can buy. So... Oh wait, that's our guy. So we can buy someone here. She has good skills, good at construction, not incapable of anything, good shooting, research, cold lover. It's fine by me. You're gonna go right into a cryopod anyway, so give us her. We'll give you a lot of money for her. And uh, what you're going to do is, uh, no, you're actually not. You're going to go get a pistol here. Because you're our contingency plan. 
And as much as it sucks to say, you're going to go cryo sleep for, for a long, long time. A very, very long time. Contingency plan. Coming to fruition. Go to sleep. And she's in there. And, uh... Hmm. Interesting. How do we get her out? Eh. Or forbid passage. So none of our people will go in there. Hmm. I'm really kind of curious how to get her out of there. Like, you might have to have somebody else go wake her up. So we'll say not passage forbidden. Um, yeah, you, you have to open it. Alright, so I can't let everybody die. She'll just be an extra person. Hmm. Now I gotta wonder if I should set up like a little contained facility, you know, like food and stuff like that, and a bed, and just have her live in there and not be allowed to come out rather than put her in cryo sleep. Huh. It's actually not that bad of an idea. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's the best idea, though. I guess if we leave her in cryo sleep. Hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know, should I wake her up? Oh. Wow, that is a big one. Wish I had everybody on deck for this one. Jesus. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. They only got one of the turrets, so... Hmm. I guess we'll have everybody practice their, uh... their gun skills.
Yep, everybody go back to doing your thing. That was a lot of them. Practice your gun. No. Yep. Everybody go back to doing your thing. That was that was a lot. There's also going to be a ton of food, though. Hmm. Awesome, I am so glad we managed to recruit him right there. A local tortoise. I think we're fine. Um. Because I needed him right there. Go equip the PDW. There you go. Okay. And a raid. The moment I don't need it. What just happened? Okay. Are they attacking immediately? Looks like it. So, grenade, rifle, EMP grenade, and pistol. Okay. We already hurt some people. They're just gonna take them? Oh my god. That is such a problem. Come on, wake up. I need those guys. Oh. Alright, go wake her up. Because I need those guys and they're gone now. I guess if I had everybody alive, that wouldn't have been a problem. Who, who's doctoring now? They're hurt. I guess Settler is going to be the doctor. I, I don't know. So none of these guys can do it unless they're doctors, huh? Okay, treat them. I can't believe they just took them. That, that's really sucky. Disease infection. Trevely. Great. We're gonna have to go wake her up probably because that was just terrible. I actually don't even want to talk right now because I'm actually kind of upset that that happened. Mm. Warren's developed an infection as well. So yeah, these people mm. need treated now. Treat them. She's treated. She's a minor infection there. And uh, he hasn't been treated at all. And he really needs that. 
so hurry up and treat him. Oh, this is poopy. I can't believe they just took them. That's so upsetting. So I guess we'll get him all patched up. And then I guess we'll see what we can do. From there. Just to try to survive, I guess. Go ahead and feed him. Somebody's gonna go let that girl out too. Warren. Go open it. Cause we need her now. She's a good colonist, so. Cryo sickness. forbid passage just because we really need this girl right now um, oh wow she's a really good warden actually um, you should be able to cook you should be able to cook too Okay, you can really start building things, you can start repairing things. Believe me, I have no problem with you letting you grow things. Or mining. You can also focus on planning. And then researching, even though that's not a thing anymore for us. <sighs> that, that's terrible. You can do like doctor stuff, right? Yeah, she's a doctor too. So what we should probably do is, you're going to be like our straight new doctor, wait, right? No. Ed's going to be. No, he can't be. I guess you're going to be our new doctor, dear. And this stuff's going to fall to twos for you. So, there you go. You're a new doctor. Have fun. <laughs> if only it were that easy in real life. Alright, after this terrible episode, I'm going to punch out and see if I can actually get out of this chair for a little bit. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.